Hi everyone, so after Elon Musk came in support of Yang, everyone started to talk about what if we had a partnership between Andrew Yang and Elon Musk. Um, and, you know, potentially it means Elon Musk could be, you know, um, the vice president. Um, so how practical is that? Um, I would say, like, it's not, not as practical as we would want. Like, ideally, in an ideal world with um, just kind of like a dream team, on how people can execute. Imagine like Elon Musk and Andrew Yang um, both like executing on the most innovative ideas around. Um, you know, that would be a great idea team, but in terms of like politics, I'm not too sure Elon Musk likes politics. In terms of how he's been dealing with um, like all the stakeholders for Tesla, he, he dislikes that. He, hate, he hates the whole have the governance of things so he's an idea guy not a governance type of person um so hence why you know if anyone was paying attention to tesla um elon musk initially wanted to take them private uh, of course that never happened but he only wanted to take them private because he thought all the establishments were against him he had um a obligation to report to stakeholders and he had the pressure to deliver on what they wanted um so i don't think he's that type of person to really like politics i think he's a he's an idea guy um hence why he's good as an advisor uh rather than coming in and being a running mate for andrew yang of course you know like in a in an idea sense it sounds pretty good like you know what couldn't these two achieve um, of course, you need someone who has experience, who understands policy, um, and how to implement them in the government. Um, so I'd say Elon Musk as a running mate probably wouldn't work, but I'd say he's, he'd come in as an advisor, and he'd do you know do a great job at advising Yang. Um, I did I did um, hear Yang speak about it earlier on. He said he's put his team in contact with Elon Musk's team. Um, so I definitely think they're going to be working together in the future. Um, like I think um, Elon Musk is going to come in support and then possibly even come in at speaking events. If you can get Elon Musk at a speaking event, imagine the amount of cr the crowd that that's going to generate and also the publicity. So the one thing that Elon Musk has got um, a ton of is publicity. If, if you're with Elon Musk, all of a sudden, that just highlights this candidate in a whole new stratosphere. So, if if Yang can work more of Musk, I'd say there's a ton of positives. It's just and and it, and it kind of just brings to light more about the UBI, especially when there's more people in support of it. Um, and that you know you've got to back the idea with someone credible. And as I spoke about it earlier on. Uh, Elon Musk just comes off as someone who's quite credible when it comes to um, kind of disrupting or innovative ideas and the UBI in a sense is quite disrupting and innovative um, so it, it's kind of putting it in that frame of mind where Elon Musk actually can help Yang kind of increase his support and his exposure um, and also provides credibility um, so I don't think he's going to come in as a running mate. Um, he, he would probably come in as an advisor because he was an advisor to Trump in earlier on um, until Trump was just basically playing around, not even, you know, taking matters seriously. You know, he kind of thought global warming was just a hoax that, you know, did you you didn't have to do too much in order to, you know, solve the problem because in his mind it was not a problem if there's no problem in your mind then you're not going to be focused on solving it um so i think elon musk sees andrew yang as being the practical guy that he that he thought trump might have been his musk did come out in, in support of um trump um though of course yeah it turned out to be quite different to what he expected um so I think Elon Musk is putting one more hope into um, being able to be an advisor to a president. 
and he wants Yang to be the president, and he wants to be the advisor. So that it's a, I imagine that's going to be, you know, that would go really well. Um, in terms of who you want as a running mate, I would say you want someone with, someone with experience. You want someone who's, you know, also well liked, and you want someone who's also got policy, you know, that has a reasonable view of. You know, both candidates have to have very similar views, and they got to build on each other's strengths and weaknesses. So, like one candidate's weak here, another one should be strong there. And we know that Yang's not a politician, so he needs someone who understands the system to help him work through it. Um, I'd say if you look at Trump, like Trump has managed to hold things together because he's not running things; he's just um, he's the representative, but behind everything, Mike Pence is running most of the show, um, and Trump is just the one coming up with the ideas, trying to direct some of the things. Um, so in a sense, you kind of tr- Yang kind of has to do what Trump has done, and then find a running mate kind of similar to um, Mike Pence's like experience and ability, and then I think that puts him in a kind of like a good boat to sail forward um before like if you don't have someone who has experience it kind of really undermines the whole campaign the one thing a lot of you know trump's going to be attacking is hey there's no experience here these are un, you know not proven ideas so you kind of don't want to be attacked too you know too harshly so you've got kind of a incentive to find someone who's got the proven experience, who's who can put through policies, who does have influence, who is likable, and you know someone that Yang also will get along with. Um, so that's kind of where I see it. So I don't think Mus is someone that could be a running mate, but I think he'd make a great advisor. Um, and he's also I think his views are very similar to Yang. So I think that would be that would work as a great team. Um, and I, I do hope that happens one day. Um, of course, right now, there's a lot of things Yang can use f- from us that would boost, boost him as a candidate. Um, he definitely should hold a UBI day. Like, it, Tesla has Tesla, uh, like, or, like, better, you know, different days for their technologies in terms of, like, batteries or autonomy, um, just for that day to explain things. So I think Yang should have a UBI day and explain what the UBI is and let other speakers come in as well. Um, so not only would Yang be explaining this, he could get other professors or just other people that are really knowledgeable in this area. Um, and he, also, he could also get Elon Musk in. And that's going to generate such a big crowd. It's also going to ger- generate such a big awareness. Um, and then if you, t- you know, video that, put it online, um, then it just helps so much, you know, it gets so much more exposure. So many people understand it in a better way. Um, and I think that's how you gain more support. Um, firstly, with people with credibility, um, getting more exposure and in helping people understand what you're all about. Um, so that's what I think would help just um, boost the campaign. Um, let me know what you think. Um, and yeah, I'd say it's there's plenty of ideas and avenues to explore. Um, so I think, yeah, if Yang makes good use of what, you know, in terms of the status that Elon Musk has, um, he could well increase the support for his campaign you know like tenfold all right well thanks for tuning in um i'll see you next time